Hello and welcome to another telehealth information video. My name is Garvin and today's video is on phytoestrogens. Phytoestrogens are compounds that occur naturally in plants. They're also found in a wide range of plant foods. If you eat fruits, vegetables, legumes and some grains, you get phytoestrogens from your diet. A plant-based diet is very rich in natural phytoestrogens in healthy amounts, especially from soy. Phytoestrogens through plant-based function much like animal estrogen in humans. When we eat phytoestrogens, our body may respond as if our own estrogen were present. Foods high in phytoestrogens include broccoli, carrots, soy products, legumes and licorice root. There is some evidence present which shows that eating foods high in phytoestrogens may be beneficial, especially for women. One study showed phytoestrogens greatly reducing heart flashes. Numerous other studies have, are finding positive effects for heart flashes and other perimenopausal symptoms. And more research is being done, conducted for this use of phytoestrogens. So other studies show that phytoestrogens could help prevent bone loss in aging women. Natural estrogen is known to help maintain normal bone density. When women age, oestrogen levels drop, making them more vulnerable to osteoporosis. Because phytoestrogens act much like oestrogen, taking them may stop this from happening. Still, more research is needed before a doctor would advise this use. Lastly, some women use phytoestrogens as natural or herbal remedies for relieving menstrual issues or irregularities. Oestrogen levels can drop during certain times of the menstrual cycle, causing uncomfortable symptoms. If oestrogen can be replaced, these symptoms may be relieved. Again, more research is needed about how to do this safely. Phytoestrogens may provide some of the same benefits as natural and synthetic oestrogen, but this doesn't necessarily make them safer than synthetic hormones. While phytoestrogens are natural and seem safer, they act in the same way. They may create the same risks, and these include risks such as changes in hormonal cycles, difficulties with lactation, and increased risk of breast cancer. Avoid taking phytoestrogen supplements in high doses and over long periods just to be safe. Talk to your doctor before taking phytoestrogen supplement or considerably upping your phytoestrogen intake. That brings this video to an end. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below or contact me through lynchespharmacy.com. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.